Covering the river parishes, environmentalists are pushing back against a proposed jet fuel plant in St. James Parish. But the company says it will use solar power and bring hundreds of jobs. WGNS Ashley Hamilton has more. St. James Parish could soon be a new home to a new potential sustainable aviation fuel plant. The company's goal is to utilize solar power to turn sugarcane into sustainable jet fuel. By us buying up that sugarcane trash and it not being burned, we're actually cleaning up the atmosphere. And we're also a zero water emissions process. So we emit nothing back into the river. Adding the facility will create 650 permanent jobs with 200 permanent positions to local St. James residents. We have a minimum payroll of $48,000 a year plus benefits. These are good jobs in that they don't require a four-year college degree. Every time there's some heavy industry, they want to stick it in the black community. Yet another environmentalist says the proposal sounds too good to be true. We have no idea what they would be burning on that site. It's supposed to be a site that will that will burn agricultural products is what they're saying, but they're not telling us specifically what that is. What would it smell like? What are the carbon emissions like? DG Fuel wants the community to know they have their best interests at heart by producing only sustainable aviation fuel, a clean energy source with minimal environmental impact. The key to our technology is everything that comes in from the biomass goes out as fuel. We're both green and clean. We emit so little from our facility. The environmentalist believes if this were so great, it wouldn't be put in St. James Parish. In general, in the state of Louisiana, they put pollution in black communities, in communities that don't have the resources to fight back. And my, my suspicion is that DG Fuels is, is just the same. Ashley Hamilton, WGNO News.